What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung has already established itself in the field of silicon and electronics as Samsung is the only company which has a capability of designing and manufacturing a processor. And now the company might reach a new milestone by launching a flagship mobile solution with a clock speed of over 3 gigahertz which has never been achieved on an ARM based processor. To put things into perspective, the Snapdragon 845 tops out at 2.8 GHz while the Exynos 9810 reaches 2.7 GHz max. Samsung said that it's expanding the strategic foundry collaboration with UK-based semiconductor design company ARM to develop the 7 nanometer processors that will end up in the Exynos 9820 and Snapdragon 855 chipsets. According to Samsung, the first patches of the new 7 nanometer chips will be ready before the end of this year and obviously the Galaxy S10 is expected to be the first device to feature this technology. By the way, the current chipsets that is the Snapdragon 845 and Exynos 9810 already provide consumers with all the performance they need, but the new chipset would greatly benefit the artificial intelligence and machine learning modules. Also the 7 nanometer chips have better energy efficiency which leads to less heat generated which allows for higher clock speeds. Higher clock speeds mean more calculations per second that is higher productivity. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Surprise mother Yes, that's right, the iPhone 8 was the best-selling smartphone in May. It narrowly etched out the Galaxy S9 Plus which was at the number one spot in April. The iPhone 10 is in third place with 2.3% of the market share. When you boil all of this down, a phone that has a 4-year-old design outsold phones like the Galaxy S9 Plus and the iPhone 10, which basically indicates that pricing is everything. Not a lot of people are willing to pay $1000 for a phone and companies should realize this before it's too late. And thankfully, it looks like they do understand this as Apple is expected to have lower price tag for their 2018 iPhone lineup. And I guess that's one of the reasons Samsung wants to launch 3 Galaxy S10 devices next year and one with a lower price tag. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.